Good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, everything seems to be working now. We had some minor technical difficulties, but that's fine. Because we're back. So, yeah. So we're going to play some more Europa Universalis 4, and we are going to play as the Ottoman Empire. To be precise, as Suleiman the Magnificent, because we started 10 October 1520, which is like right at the start of his reign. Um, so before we take it off pause, uh, oh, we have we should set some rivals. Um, so let me see. Oh, that's actually the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to try and make an ally with France, which the Ottomans e historically got. Okay, so they don't like us much yet, but we are going to send them a diplomat who's going to try and change that. Uh, meanwhile, let me just see what, what their rivals are. They don't like Spain, they don't like England. Well, that's good, because we probably want to set Spain as our rival too, so that will make us a... Uh, bring us closer so yeah let's set Spain as, uh, as one of our rivals and uh, ideally I would like to set Hungary or Austria but neither of those are an option hmm I guess Persia would make sense they had a lot of trouble with Persia historically so let's set Persia and Spain as our rivals now and save the third rival for when we can set Austria uh, too many military leaders that's probably Okay, yeah, let's take a look at our current diplomatic relations. So, okay. Yeah, we could... Uh, okay, so we have tr Crimea, Tripoli and Algiers as, our, as, as marches, which is basically a slightly worse vessel. And Moldavia and Wallachia as actual vessels. Hold on, let's actually s just go into... So yeah, the green area and the cyan area is ours. Um... We have some Kazu's belly, but not against anyone we actually wanted against. Guaranteeing independence of Ragusa. Like this bit? Why are we guaranteeing their independence? I guess against Venice? Uh, considering we are over the limit of the number of diplomatic races, I think I'm gonna revoke that guarantee. Sorry guys. You're on your own. Okay, so what do we want to do? So, if you have been watching Extra History for the f past few weeks, they've been doing a series on Suleiman the Magnificent, which is, a f which is why I was so interested in playing as him. Um, so we should obviously, uh, we, do we should obviously try and uh, try and fabricate a claim on, on Rodos, so that we might be able to get the take the knights out of there, because they were a thorn in the Ottoman side, and the same. We're gonna do the same with Hungary. Wait, can we not? Oh, we're actually out of diplomats. Because one guy is necessary to go tell Ragusa that they're on their own. Alright, so... Yeah, let's go to our government. So, our leader, Suleiman, is... effing amazing. Look at that. So, we're gonna and, and get some advisors. Um, yeah, sure. We're probably gonna go for the cheapest. We have a good budget, but we can... I still don't really like going above the plus one advisors. Um, oh hey, Piri Reyes. That's maybe actually more logical to take him. Eh, but we'll take this guy because he's cheaper. And for military, this person clearly is a 16th century Ottoman. Mm, yeah, sure. So, advising all three. They have it in military power currently. I think we don't actually want that. I think we might actually want it on diplomatic, our focus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Also, compensate because Suleiman is slightly less good at diplomacy than at the other things. Um, okay, so yeah, diplomacy, we've done that. Economy, our economy is fine. Pretty good. Trade. Uh, we should probably send, send one of these. Hold on, let's go into trade map mode. Uh, we should probably take the merchant from here and send him to collect in in uh, Constantinople. Technology, well, we're pretty good at that. We're, we'll we'll try and keep up with it. Um, our ideas, yeah, we have all the humanist ideas, which is are really quite nice, and we're working on trade ideas. Apparently, we might go. We're probably gonna not focus on those too much. Right, we should set a mission. Um, we don't want to conquer Egypt yet. We'll do that later. 
Nice, don't care about them. So I guess we'll go for prestige. And, um, yes, oh, the national decrease, let me see. Yeah, I took a quick look at this before. Uh, these all look basically fine and all have really lasting, so we're gonna take all of them to make our empire stronger. Um, I would like to give our stability a boost, but we don't have the points for it. Uh, <laughs> that was an interesting sound. Let's send them. Let's send our missionaries to convert some to convert some heathens in our country. Just start at the top of the list as usual. Uh, military, we have room for some uh, for some more. We can start training more men. Hmm. Oh, Suleiman himself is actually a really good general. Yeah, our subject states. I may end up dropping Tripoli, I guess. If France takes the alliance, just so that we don't cost extra diplomacy points. Our estates, uh, we'll just keep them at where they are for now. Although, actually, come to think of it, making friends with the bay might be a good idea. Can we uh, give them some land? So we want we want their their loyalty to be high and their influence to be low. Uh. Okay. It's always a bit complicated. Um, okay, this makes their influence grow faster than loyalty, but we only need loyalty to get to 60, and influence isn't bad until 80, so we can probably afford to give the base a bunch of lands. And one more, just to keep them above 60 for a bit. Because then we get that nice military bonus from them. And the others we can probably afford to delay for now. Let's take a look at the world, actually. Well, we don't know much about the world. Let's take a look at Eurasia. Because, yeah, Holy Roman Empire is a mess as usual. Actually, is Protestantism a thing yet? Shouldn't it have started by now? Hmm. Alright, well, I'm taking it off pause now. Because, yeah. We are. Oh, actually, before I forget, we should get some uh, some troops, I think. <sighs> wow. Oh, hey, we can actually recruit from our, uh, from, our, from our allies' lands. Huh. Fascinating. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some cavalry as well. And then some mortars, which... Yeah, we're com... Once we... Once we get all this, we will be coming up on the... Force limit, so... In order not to bankrupt ourselves, I'm not gonna build more. This is enough for now. Let's take a look at our current armies, actually, do we? Ooh, we already have a lot of mortars in them. I like that. Not in this one, though. Some armies over here in the south. Um, considering we want to... We probably want to target the north. I am gonna keep... Probably this army just around in Egypt. To dissuade any trouble in the south. This is gonna go north, however. Because we want to start fighting... Uh, yeah, we want to start fighting... Fighting Hungary, eventually. And or the Knights of Rodos. This place. Uh. Utrecht joins the rep Oh, the Netherlands are forming. That's always fun to see. <laughs> They're always like co coming together bit by bit. Triangle trade, yep. As usual. Bosnia, they, they, they are not our our vessels, are they? <coughs> Let's actually go to speed 3, I think. I like playing on speed 3, usually. I hope this army is... Yeah, this should definitely be enough to keep the Mamluks away. And Persia, well, they are probably tougher, but they... 
We have a truce with them, so they won't attack for now. Uh, oh, we got our diplomat back, so... Let's send him to... Come to go fabricate a claim on... Uh, oh, on what province? Zagreb? That would take us west towards... Towards Wien. Which I kind of like. Alternatively, Slavonia, I guess. Yeah, let's get Zagreb. Well, let's get a claim on it. And then eventually we will get it. Obviously. S still making a hefty profit. Alright, look at this. Uh, look at my army being recruited over here. Hold on, let me actually get the big army here and... Put them away. Um, nah, never mind. I can, I can send, I can send the troops about without need to bother with that. They do need some extra mortars, by the way. So we are eventually gonna give. Go there. I still haven't figured out if there's a, a truce with Persia has ended. Oh, that's annoying. Are they... yep, they have also set us as their rivals. How are things going with France, I wonder? Oh, they would take an alliance, but we don't have diplomats to send. Wait, but one of our diplomats is in France. Can I... Yeah, I guess we just... Don't, don't return home, just offer them alliance while, while you're making friends. Also, we should um, set our attitude to the French to friendly. Right, once this diplomat is home, he can return straight away to France and offer them an alliance. Persia declared a war upon Tabarestan. Where, where is that even? Oh, it's this bit. Okay. Well, do your worst, guys. <coughs> ah, and there's the cannons. Well, mortars, cannons have been invented yet. So at least one of them should go join this army, actually. Probably two. Okay, now she's just fighting Hasa. That's also fine. Boop. Gather all these men here. Where are you going? Uh, what's happening now? The expansion of the royal bureaucracy. Suleiman was probably the greatest of the Ottoman sultans. It's true. Called Kanui, the lawgiver, he was an unsurpassed administrator who realized that the power of the provincial base had to be curbed by a strong central government. Thus he struggled to cr promote a powerful royal bureaucracy, which was not popular in all camps. Uh, so expanding it will lose its stability, but gives it some nice bonuses. Limited reforms. Okay. Um... I guess we do have the administrative points to just raise the stability right back up again. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna stability boost. Back at zero. I'd rather be at one, but we just don't have the administrative power to do it right now. Um, oh wow, this army is getting big. Actually, considering the supply limits, it's too big. So we're gonna split off some of these vast amounts of men. Uh. Yeah, they can just go join this army. I do love these metal tracks, by the way. It's such a good DLC. Oh, this guy is now free, so we should go here to our French friends and offer them an alliance. Which once again, the French really had with the Ottomans for a long time. And it worked really out. Re Yay! French friends! Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
So one thing to notice is that we... I think we have... How many generals do we have? I think we have three, so that should be fine. Yeah, we do. Three generals and one admiral. Let's actually... Um, set our admiral to this, to this fleet. They have transport cap. We can uh, easily take Rodos with this. So Hungary, <coughs> they are in a personal union with, oh, in the Spanish support by Venice, and they have a, uh, they are a partner in a union with Bohemia, which is an ally of Brandenburg, and also v Silesia, so we would end up fighting Venice, Hungary, uh, Bohemia, Silesia, and Brandenburg. I think we can handle that. But it's definitely not ideal. What Rodos? Rodos is also allied with Venice, so we're gonna fight Venice. Is basically the point here. Can we subvert them somehow? I mean, not while our diplomat is on its way, of course. But sorry. Um, I guess these are not that worth it. Diplomatic insult causes belly again. Wow, Georgia just suddenly dropped an insult. Um, if we want, well, they don't have. I don't know why they. I don't know why they would bother with this. I mean, <laughs> I don't understand why they insulted me, considering. We could easily steamroll them. They don't have any allies. I mean, the fact is that I'm a little too busy to bother with Georgia. Also, I don't want to get too much up in Persia's uh, business. At least not yet. I think the historical Suleiman did actually conquer Iraq from them. So, if we want to properly uh, roleplay it, we will actually have to take that. But anyway, yeah, let's, let's, oh, we should maybe, maybe we should just kick Tripoli out, actually. Can we? Tripoli, yo, you're too small to even select. Uh, oh, we also have, no, we don't have it. I feel like we should maybe just. D D march them. Considering how small they are and how not very useful they are. Okay, we have a uh, diplomat again, so let's take a look at. Because it's costing us, it's costing us two of our diplomacy point every month. Hi, twenty six. Nice to see you. Um. Oh wow, this will this will just. Oh, this will put my stability at minus one, though. That's sucky. That really is sucky. <laughs> I guess we're not doing that then. Um, let's take a look at the dip. Yeah, France are our new friends. And. Hmm. Wait, we can get a. No, they can't. We can't, because they don't. Because they are Catholic and Catholics can't marry Muslims. In this game, by the way, not at the. M obviously, that's not the bad idea. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so Protestant Reformation is happening now. Which should be, which should disrupt Europe a bit. It's good for us. Oh fuck! Are these guys suffering from from uh, supply limits? Yeah, they are. We need to get them. Um, yeah, there. Well, there's a fort over here, so this is a province that we would want to get early. Same with Zagreb, I guess. Alright, so it looks like we will get to... Um, 
Oh, our engine has been discovered. It looks like we will get to have a claim on Rodas first. Now, thankfully, I don't think Rodas is going to be nearly as difficult to conquer as it w as it was in reality. I think we can just like sail up there, dump our troops in, and call it a day. Now it should not actually be all that difficult. Wait, do these take... Oh, a donation! We have been approached by several imams who have asked for our financial support. Their own coffers are nearly empty and they need more gold to aid their continuing efforts in providing spiritual guidance and charity to those in need. Um, phew, that takes a lot of prestige away. Also, extra piety would help with the conversion of our province, of our empire, which would... Yeah, let's give them the money. We, ha we have the money anyway. Spain has declared war on the Aztecs, so I guess they, yeah, that does add up with the day, doesn't it? We can't see the Aztecs, but that's fine. Let me actually just quick, quick look if we can to our own thing. Where is the? Okay, just Poland and Russia. We still can't set Austria or Hungary as a as our rivals. It's fine. Okay, yeah, they don't. It's fine then. Um, go back into Constantinople. So yeah, we're gonna get Rodos first. Which means, let's see. I lied with Venice. So we're also gonna be fighting the Venetians. Um, in which case, I think what I'm gonna do... Where's the best siege of our leaders? Oh, it's me. So I guess I would go m myself to Rodos. And then send one of these guys. Probably probably Gazi. Yeah, let's send Gazi to this one. And then I will personally lead this army. Uh, so I will quickly occupy Rod Rodos. And then... Maybe try and get Dalmatia as well, from the Venetians. Actually, I say that. But, aren't some of these islands Venetian as well? Ooh, Crete is theirs. Well then. I mean, I guess I can occupy that next, though. How much... Do the Venetians have a lot of ships? I would assume they do, obviously, but... 11 to... I mean... We can handle that with our 49 fleet. Although, of now, 25 of those are cogs. So, it's actually a 24 fleet. We can still handle them. Almost. Alright. 97%. I think it's time that we load it up. Uh, no. How do you load up again? <laughs> right. Attach to transport. And we're just gonna go sailing into the Aegean Sea. No big deal. And we're at 99%, so... Yeah, these are the troops that we get, so... Blah, for level 3. It's a good thing we have these mortars. And the leader with good siege. Oh, we are taking naval attrition, unfortunately, so... Hurry up, please, with the cattle. Yup, we just got a claim on Rodos. And the, the knights realize that presumably, so they're like, oh, we should better, we had better raise our, our, th our peoples. Um. What? Oh, they would actually just accept if we said, hey, give us your trade. 
Kind of like that. Um, yeah, they're gonna get Venice. We are not gonna get France, which is fine. What? No, we do have a... Why, wait, why don't we have a Belly? I... What? Why don't we have... What? We have to... We have claim on it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Just took a moment for uh, for it to realize it. Yeah. So, <laughs> why you you heard you heard fat ass instead of fat ass? <laughs> That's a little different. <laughs> Ooh, it will increase our piety by twenty five because they're heathens. And yeah, we'll get in trouble with Venice, but it's fine. Bad horse! Alright, let's see. So. Oh, Venice hasn't even said yes yet. Must have been quite the accident. And everyone on our side is going in. Except France, but that's fine. We don't need France. Not to deal with this. But up at the Crusaders. Who are here way too long. So meanwhile my other army, led by Gazi Hustref, is gonna start moving towards Fe towards Dalmatia. Uh, let's go to speed two, because presumably Venice is joining in. Yeah it is. Okay. Oh wait, Naxos? Who the f why, the why is Nexus joining in? Uh, oh, they're a vessel of Phanesis. Okay. Well then. There's gonna be a sea battle between us and... Between the Knights and the Ottomans. We win! Apparently. Uh, my ports are blockaded. To be precise, this port. We're gonna deal with that in a moment. Spain and France are embargoing each other. Which, considering France is our ally and Spain our, s our rival, it's not such a bad thing, I guess. Um, yeah, go get Dalmatia. Meanwhile, hurry up and land, please. Uh, we're gonna take a bad crossing penalty. Don't tell me this is mountains. No, it's not. Okay. Ooh, if Rodos counted as mountains, that would be bad. Oh, Calvas joined the Dutch Republic. They only need Frisia. And then they are, they'll be complete. Actually, let me take a look at the reformation. Okay, so it's just over here in Germany and England. And Denmark. The rest of the world hasn't gone Protestant yet. Trade dispute Casus Belli against the Netherlands? Well, that's just not gonna happen. Netherlands. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Got there. <laughs> Wasn't so hard to, to conquer after all. Um, so, our ships. I guess we should maybe go this go fight these Phoenicians. Nah. Let's not. So this seed should hopefully go pretty fast. There we go. That was the view I was looking for. <coughs> so yeah, we get not being blockaded. Wait. Oh, who's this fight? Oh, Wallachia has landed some troops on Naxos. That's nice of them. Well done, vampires. Vampire friends. I guess that means that we don't won't need to bother occupying it. We are gonna try and get Venice though. Uh, get Crete though. Also, we've just started occupying Dalmatia. Now, Venice doesn't count as our Major, 
wait, has France joined us after all? No, they haven't, so why do I have... Oh, I guess because they're my ally in the first place. Netherlands refuse our ad merchant access to the provinces. That's because they're cheap dicks. Okay. Venice is gonna start very much regretting that they bothered. Our truce with the Mamluks has ended. Okay. I think that's not much of a problem. We even have another army over here. Persia is now no longer at war, which might eventually be a problem. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking ab about. So there. Protestantism entrenched. The f which caused the price of fish to go, to go up. Well, no, go down, because people are eating less fish. Oh, hi, why are these men just standing around? Right, they're gonna attack Hungary eventually. So you're, s so you're from Hungary? So you're hungry people, eh? Huh? That's from a commercial over here, which was not very good. Uh, that's a bigger navy than I'd like to see from Venice. Claims on our rivals. We have managed to produce very legitimate documents which show that we have a historical claim on one of their provinces. On Sinjar, which is Persian. Okay. That's interesting what you say there, but we're not gonna do that. Not yet, anyway. We want to get Hungary first, I think. Uh, well, once we deal with Rodas and Venice. Yeah, once again, don't want to fight Persia. Not now, anyway. Uh, what's. Oh, Lithuania and Russia are going at it. Yeah, eventually we want to do something about the Mamluks, of course, but it's gonna take a while before we get around to that. We have a lot to do, basically. A lot of countries on our hit list. Okay, just... Ooh, nice! Let's convert some more provinces then. The Wallachians are getting knocked. Mima Sinan's greater constructions. M Mima Sinan planned and, uh, and oversaw the construction of countless mosques, aqueducts, bathhouses, bridges, palaces, caravanserais, and schools during his half century long career. His masterpieces were the Selimiye and the, Sulan and the Suleimaniye Mosque in Adrianople and Constantinople. Uh, well, if we do this, then we get. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's get him. Seems good. We got another one, by the way, so we can convert another province. Crimea and Venice are gonna have a fight here. Moldavia and Wallachia are, walk are just walking through Greece, by the way, for some reason. Oh, wait! Is Naxos actually... <gasps> oh, Nax there's actually straits to Naxos. I didn't realize that. That's really quite nice. You, you know your ships are gonna get expelled from the board from the port once I conquer it, right? Actually, did it now they also had this. There's a lot of little islands and stuff that Venice has. And they're seeming to be really quite easy to conquer so far. By the way, look at the little... Look at uh, Istanbul over here. It's not actually what it looks like, but... We can invest in an idea of which one. Um, what for more trade range. I don't know. I feel like we want to... Um, to save our diplomatic points, I think. And not go deeper into trade ideas. 
I feel like we're better off if we get if we get diplomatic technology instead. And or use it to like peace conquer one of our vessels, because we also need to get rid of some of them. Jesus, why is this taking so long? Except for the fact that it took really long in history as well. Funj and the Mamluks are fighting. So that's good. I need to worry about the south. Hello, what's up with this? There's a little Ardalan in the middle of Persia. And Persia is also fighting. That's good. Oh my god, 70%! <laughs> this is turning out very historical. Military access from Funj. So they're fighting the Mamluks, aren't they? Hmm. Well. Yes, I mean, I guess I would give them military access just so that they can beat the Mamluks properly. Of course, that might mean that we end up that they end up having all this, all the Mamluk land, which would actually like we don't want Funch to get too powerful either. But here's the thing, though: the Mamluks hate us, and Funch likes us. So, with Funch as a big southern neighbor, we're a lot safer than with the Mamluks. I mean, not that the Mamluks can do much, but... If we are already in trouble, then they could just add a little extra trouble to it. So, I think we're gonna accept. And let them beat up the ma the, the Mamluks. Meanwhile... Nice. We got Rodos. I think if we get these, then... Yeah. So we want this. Wait. Wouldn't take it. Oh. Sure. Then we don't... Then we won't. Um. Alright, let's see. Let me... Um, load our troops up. And take them to, to occupy Crete. Well, these troops continue getting Dalmatia. Oh, we are Hungary. Would you, by any chance, give me military act? Oh, they would actually. Huh. Sure then. I did not actually expect Hungary to allow me military access, but apparently they just want—they don't like Venice as just as much as me. So yeah, we can go pummel Venice. Right, then to occupy Crete, it shouldn't last. It shouldn't take long because they don't have a fort there. Also, hey, look, our Crimean allies have taken over the occupation of Rhodos. Oh, hey, Cyprus is also Phoenician, so we should get, we should grab that as well while we're at it. Uh, in that case, let's take the ship to the Gulf of Satalia. Why are the trade routes showing up now? Uh, ooh. Janissary award. Demanding higher pay, the Janissaries revolt in 1449. That's quite a long time. They become so powerful that from 1451 and onwards, every new southern felt obliged to pay each Janissary a reward and raise his pay. Uh, hmm. Wait, until who is that? Oh shit, Suleiman died! Like, three years into his reign! <laughs> well, so, I guess he wasn't that magnificent after all. Wait, why did he die? Wasn't he leading the... Did he die in battle? Oh shit, look at her stability! Um. Like I don't know wh what happened. Why? Because there was no one here on Crete. Actually, I'm confused. 
I actually feel like this might be a glitch because there is no reason that he would have died. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load up the autosave here. Right, I've got autosave on once every five years, not every year. So, I guess we're stuck with this. Uh, I guess we have this guy as well. Jeez, that sucks. Yeah. Gonna go to Cyprus. Oh, Jesus. We have minus two stability now. We should really boost that twice. We have some national decision. What's this? New office but Uh huh. Stronger missionary. Yeah, sure. Let's get that. Announcement of secret practices. Sack practices. Also seems good. That's really sucky. <laughs> that that happens. It also makes me remember to put this back on yearly. Because we lost Suleiman to that. Sort of. Seven ships, seven ships, that should be fine. <coughs> These troops are just going over to Cyprus. Did you know, by the way, that the, that the word copper actually comes from the name Cyprus? It's true, because that's where a lot of copper in the Greek world came from. <coughs> that's a really big fleet. Mine is bigger, but I have cogs in it. Let's see, 25, 24, okay. Considering Piri Reis is a pretty amazing leader, and they don't have a leader, I think we can w easily win that. I'm just gonna. Can we just take care of these? No, they, we can't. Okay. Fine. We've won the Siege of Dalmatia, nice. We're just gonna keep going towards Venice. Expiring Cousin's Belly, yeah, against Georgia, I know. That's fine. Oh Jesus, look at our legitimacy. It's not good. Alright, Istria is ours. Next up. Uh what? Oh. We are gonna need to ask Austria for military access. And they will actually give me this ad, so. You can just Continue towards Venice. You should probably just head straight for Treviso actually. Take the fort there. Uh, the Spanish just conquered the Aztecs by the way. Although as a nation we are famous for our shrewd commerce practices, at the, at the moment our merchants are becoming a tad complacent. Uh, let's just get some inflation then. Hey, we can now go to war with Hungary as well. Which we will, once this is done. Land theft. Uh huh. If we do this, then their influence increases the Ulema against base. Uh, we sort of need the help of the base, is the problem. 
So I think what we're gonna do is... Um, side with the base. And just give the Ulema some, uh, some lands to make up for it. Because they're not happy with us now. Here, like this. You want this? Crimea, you can have that too. Also this stuff in Bosnia. Ah, oh, just hurry up. There we go. No more disloyal. Time to get involved in the Indian Ocean. Uh huh. An emissary from the faraway Gujarani Sultanate arrived at the court today. The Sultan of Gujarat said that he has been plagued by Portuguese pirates and that these ships are threatening the stream of Oriental goods from flowing east into our lands. The Portuguese have also been preventing the Indian faithful from reaching Mecca and Medina, a journey that started Gujarat for many. Gujarat may be far away, but we could send them some help in their struggle. Um. Yeah? Sure. Let's pay to get to give Gujarat, which is in India, some help against the Portuguese. Influenza, oh piss. Uh, yeah, quarantine. Once we take Cyprus and the fort over here, then we should be in a position to get... Uh, okay, well, we will do that later. Oh yeah, they did actually take a chunk of the Mamluks. Alright, we got Cyprus. Let me see if we can... Um, They would not, still would not do this. Knights are just saying, no. However, what happens if we just take, go to Venice and, and make a separate piece with them? Yeah, like, say I want to keep Cyprus. Nope, would not do that. Alright. What about just Naxos? Can I make peace with them? No, because they're vessels for Fadens. Okay. Let's just occupy their fort then and then see what they say. Okay. Georgia is being troublesome again. Not for us though, so that's good. Alright, our ships are loaded up. Um, see, it may be risky, but I kind of just think we should maybe... We should maybe just go... Go uh, naval, in naval invasion Venice itself. Like, that'll get them out of... That'll get them out of... Russia has announced the Ottomans as their new rival. Yeah, that adds up. Nobles ally with, for with foreign power. Ugh, jerks. Yes, they will pay for their treachery, actually. Which allows us to take Bosnia. We do have this army standing around, and Bosnia, I think, doesn't have... Yeah, they have nothing. So, I think what we're gonna do is just make a general of our ruler. 
and personally led the attack on Bosnia. I think we can handle them. Peace offer from Venice. They say they will pay money. Pay more money. No, I think I want some of the islands you got in my in my sea. Alright. We're just landing here. Moldavia and Wallachia are helping out again. Verden. Religious civil disorder in Verden. Let's actually take a look at the religion of Europe again, yeah. Protestantism still sp spreading bit by bit. Book burning, oh don't do that. Yeah, I think we should actually intervene, because if... Yeah, don't do that. We got Treviso. So, I guess just grab some more provinces while we're here. For a really big war score. Peace of on Venice. Once we have occupied Venice itself, we will, we will take a piece of her. Um, yeah, we have taken it now, so... Venice, yes. You guys. Alright, we want Cyprus from you. And... Naxal... Wait, can we not take this? Naxal's at Crete. So we'll get it to 95, and... Um, Getting some prestige. Ooh, that's a lot of ag aggressive expansion, actually. What about money? Oh, can't take more than that. Yeah, sure, let's just get this. And then we will load our troops back up. And send these troops also back. So, Bosnia. Bad horse. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let we should core some of these. Um, these. Religion. I know some of my provinces lack cores. So yeah, the exiled armies are slowly coming back. Wait, who are we fighting? Oh, the knights. That's fine then. Uh, oh, speaking of the knights. I guess we should actually just... Take... Uh, just... Uh, uh, give them the demand as well. Money. What else can you give us? Yay, we did it. Okay. So, we got all the islands in the Eastern Mediterranean now. Oh, except for these Genoan islands here. Let's uh, keep an eye on that. And we're now working on getting Bosnia as well. But of course, once again, Hungary is our real target. Hey, pirates! Nice. Can I 
No, I cannot core anything. But I can convert. Got it. So I just got to get whom. Um. Once we take this, I think the next step... Yeah, this next step is gonna be Hungary. What's your peace offer? Uh. Okay. Um... So you get them there. Then wait, where's my other army? I had a third one, didn't I? Oh, it's this one, yeah. So once we occupy Bosnia entirely, we can demand their annexation. After which we're gonna start moving into Hungary. Alright, got them. So... No, I think I want this. Uh, what? No. No, that war reparations me, hold on. Okay, um... Yay! Alright. So we still do have a casus belly to take Zagreb. We still wouldn't get help from France, unfortunately. Spain would come to our aid, but Brandenburg wouldn't. Now Bohemia is also joining in. Wait. Are they able to call their own allies or not? What did it say? Not be able to call their own allies. Okay, so we don't need to worry about Bohemian allies. It's gonna be just Spain and Bohemia. And wait. If they have a vessel, I think they have a vessel with one, with something as well. Yeah, Silesia. So it's gonna be Hungary, Bohemia, Silesia. And Spain. Which is maybe a bigger problem. Um, our allies can deal with the Spanish, I think. It still sucks that we lost Suleiman. Especially because there was like no reason. It was just weird. Like, he was suddenly dead, even though it was like a really... There was no one even defending that place. Well, what am I waiting for, I guess? Oh, well, it have immediate severe negative effect. Oh, because of the of the of the military access. Okay, so we should first actually cancel that. That makes sense because otherwise it's it's more of a betrayal. Venice has declared war on Ragusa. Oh, <laughs> the ones that we used to be, but we used to um, guarantee them. Well, there's not much we can do about it. So, can we now just declare war or? Okay. Gotta wait.
Take Zagreb. Zagreb. They are allied with Brandenburg. But they will not come. Bad horse! So yeah, Bohemia, Hungary and Silesia. Not even Spain yet. Um... Take this. You, my friend. We should um, take a look at their four, four, four locations, actually. Okay, so one of them is just going to go in the middle and just take some of their stuff. And then this one is going to go... Wait, he doesn't have any siege. He does. Okay, in that case, we're going to go there. Yeah, it, it's a bit awkward that we have to cross each other like this, but... Better that way. All our allies joined us. We should be at speed 3, I think. Just in case. Let me just quickly see the diplomatic map. Yep, it's just them, actually. I don't think Spain is joining in. So that's fantastic. It's quite possible, by the way, that, one, that once we win this, that we will get an, a coalition against us. So that is gonna suck a bit. Because we have been taking a lot of provinces of the Europeans, and they don't particularly like that, generally. Montenegro has collapsed. Oof. This is not fun. Um, well, these are under control of forts, aren't they? So, maybe we send these guys deeper into their territory. Oh, okay. It means that I that I can means that I can get there actually. That's all it means. Hmm. I mean, we could go. We could go take Pest. Or Buddha. <laughs> you know. Yeah, just like straight occupy it. I think it will give us a lot of war score. I actually have Hungarian family, by the way. Just as an, as an aside. Uh, it's not that late yet, 26. It's 22, 23. At least in my time zone, and I'm pretty sure. Hi! Ooh. Um, never mind then. Oh, since we're going there anyway, I guess they should stay there. Um, so they're going to. Sl yeah, we are being attacked by them. Um, I'm actually gonna take this reserve army to the north then. Although we don't have a leader for them, and we don't want to recruit a general. Oh, yuck! You're right, it's... Uh, it's gonna be daylight saving time at night. I hate daylight saving time, it's so bad. So I'm definitely not setting my watch on any other time zones yet. Usually I wait a week, actually. <laughs> Out of spite. Um, so our troops are not particularly um, gathered together. Look at this Venetian army just still wandering around. Yeah. It's such a stupid idea. Like why why would you do that? Uh oh they're taking this back now. Hmm. Well not much we can do about that. Oh no, never mind, they're just going away. Uh, they are gonna attack us, which... Um... 
I feel like that's sort of fine, actually. I think we will win that. Although their maneuver... Like, one of their generals... Has, no, they both have gen eye maneuvers, so we can... So they will actually just be able to... Ignore the crossing penalty. Uh... Oh dear. Roll high, please. High rolls! Come on! No! Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna block... I'm actually... I don't actually know why I didn't do this yet. We should block... We should go blockade there. The one port of the of theirs. Oh, we got a, we got a kid. Mehmet. Sure, Mehmet's a good name. His name is, no, actually... Let's call him... Suleiman. Considering this is supposed to be about Suleiman the Magnificent, but he died. So, he just reincarnated. Except I think his stats were way lower. Eh, they're still decent. It's not like they're bad. Um, oh, we got Zagreb. Um, let me see. We have a little bit high maneuver here, so we can probably ignore the rivers to some extent. Where are you? In that case, I'm staying here. We are still going going back here earlier than them, by the way. Yeah, I think we can handle these guys. Oh, uh, we can uh, core this. Bang, bang, bang. Crimea and Wallachia are doing a lot of work for us, by the way. Okay, we're fighting now. This time they do get the, get the penalty for crossing. Yeah, we're, we're winning this. Although, there's Bohemians on their way now. Come on, good rolls. Okay. That's nice. It's a big victory. If we had lost that, that would have been a disaster. Um, hmm, I think I'm gonna force their ships out of their port and into our blockade. Okay, so this army is regrouping bit by bit. Let's um, send them to Bosna. We obviously won't be able to conquer all of her, all, to annex all of Hungary, by the way. But we can take their south. Ooh, look, they're having separatists. Doesn't that suck? Okay, well, now you have to go out and then you'll have to fight my blockade. Um, sucks to be you. Alright, we got Hunyat. Um, I'm gonna send them to Bihar. Took their ships. There was a fight in Bosnia. Oh, right, these guys. Um, I guess they can just sort of mop up the, the provinces that the rest... Hasn't really bothered taking yet. And they can sort of converge on pass together. Oh wow, look at this. Look at the Crimea just going way into Bohemia. <laughs> no, 
Jetzt leg mal das an. Ja, yeah, we're coming on pass from three sides by this time. Because look, there's there's bastards again. But they actually doesn't this mean yeah they're shattered. Wow. Yeah, their morale is gonna be really low. Also Moldavia is already poor government policies. Ugh. Lose responsibility or yeah, we're gonna pay for it. We have the money. Will cross a river, but has to maneuver to pull it off. Um, go get these provinces, I guess. Go kill them. I guess this blockade's not really necessary considering this has been occupied, so let's put them back in a safe haven. Oh, this is still Venetian. I should have uh, taken this province from them. Too late now. And Zemplen. We can handle these, right? Although these are mountains. They do not. And their leader is not the worst. Also, this is crossing a river. Yeah, actually. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna bother with that. They can be, stay there. We would probably still. Ah, their, their morale is low, though. But mountain and river. Uh, we have one maneuver. They have zero, so the, ri so the river actually wouldn't matter. I'm gonna try it. Uh, oh, piss! Orthodox salads. Um. All right, you guys. We're gonna have to deal with the Greeks. Yeah, we still want we still want that. I think. So. <laughs> Peace offer from Bohemia. Hungary will see Zagreb. No, 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 no. Decline. We want a lot more than that, I think. Like, Zagreb is just one province that we're taking here. We're gonna try and get the, get, get the rest of... get parts of Croatia that we don't have yet. At the very least. And I think if we can, some of... Probably, we should, we should probably fill out the rest of Bulga of, of, of uh, Romania, actually, considering we have East and South Romania, but not Northwest yet, like we don't have, um, we don't have Transylvania yet, which seems like an important thing to miss when you're talking about um, Romania. Oh, Ragusa got got conquered. Wait, what? I lost? Oh, dicks. Oh, f Stupid orthodox salads. Also, our manpower has come out. 
Um, I'm gonna deal with these guys in a moment. Actually, can't you people do deal with them? Uh. Okay, fine. Actually, in that case, what I'm gonna do is this. Just like hand over the siege. these mans and with them as well. There's a lot of little guys to mop up here. Um three maneuver they have. Uh the Silesians might Silesians might actually get a bonus here. I guess we could move through our land and then in there. Oh fuck. Uh, let's just move here first. Wait, they're now going to Verrascht. Following you. Ah, I'm gonna catch up on them on the planes. So that's fantastic. They can't actually occupy this, so we can just ignore them. Punches can't. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so hung so we're gonna take Hungary, but I do want to get to as high a bar score as possible before we do. Ah, nice, we got past. Um, right, I can't cross here because there's the fort, so... I'll do it like this. By the way, our allies took Prague. And they can't even get it back from them. Go deal with them. Alright, so we're at 97%. You know, I'm gonna try... Um, clear offer. Let's start with Zagreb. And then yeah, we want to we want to take Croatia first. And um actually hmm, what if we like just cut a swath through Hungary in order to separate Transylvania from the rest of it? I wonder if we could manage that with the war skull that we have. Like this? <laughs> Ooh, it would give us a lot of uh Oh my. Maybe uh, dial back just a little on the conquest. But yeah, if we did this, then... I want to try something like this. Just like... Get Transylvania completely cut off from, the ra from Hungary. I'm just very worried about the, about the massive aggressive expansion penalties here. Also, of course, some money. Um, what about any other... Wait. Release nations. This would... We could just let them... Let them release Transylvania, actually. Would that place Transylvania under our... Under our... Um, as a sovereign state? Hmm. 
Well, it doesn't actually cost. It doesn't cost us any e extra. Any extra. Uh, extra expansion relation, but it does totally cut up. Cut them up, actually. In that case, I guess what I should do is. Get the. Ow. Can't quite do that. Well, in that case, if I do this, then. This bit is still cut off, so they will have rebels there. I kind of like this, just break Hungary. Let's, um. So, yeah, do we do this and just demand them to be free, or do we. Or what we o could also do, what would maybe be a better idea, is to is to do the plan of cutting a corridor through Hungary instead and then supporting re and then supporting Transylvania rebels in them because then the rebels will actually come out on our on our side and they will not be able to go through our land I think that might actually be better after all so whoop so yeah gonna do it like that after all uh, so yeah treaties yeah how about war reparations I like war operations. Because it was clearly your fault. <laughs> uh oh, we should actually handle these guys, shouldn't we? And yes, please do that. Okay. There we go. Also got some much needed prestige. Um Yeah, no, that's that's fair. Hi Samus here, welcome to the stream. That that does actually work. That is actually something that works. I've had it work for me in the past, at least. Um So support rebels. Wait. Oh, there no we can't support support uh the right rebels. Kiev and separatists would get just this. Hmm. That's annoying. Well, I should have a lot of trouble with the rebels either way. Also, we now have a really weirdly shaped country. Um, let me see. We should select a new... Convert the infidel. Yeah, might be worth it. I think we want that, yeah, because we don't want to go to war for a while here, I think. I think we just want to try and build up our peace. Yeah. Also, because we have a lot of overextension here. Um, way too much, actually. First of all, let's deal with these stupid salads. Wait, where'd they go? Oh! Oh, they're over there now. Um, Alright. This army can go deal with them, while our armies returning from the war can go reoccupy our, the Greek islands. Take the zealots away there. Is that everyone? I thought we had a third army somewhere. Right, that... that oh, wait. Uh, yeah, they have no leader. That's that's the Egyptian army. We should actually place them back to guard the southern edge of our empire. Um, yeah, I'm just confused. Oh wait, this is the third wing of the army, right? No, it's fine. Let's actually take a look at the coalitions. Um, ugh. Currently, it's just Genoa and Memmingen, but there are a lot of countries that will that uh, might join, like Köln, Lorraine, Florence. <laughs> oh dear! Nope, you're not getting that. Hesse, Siena, <laughs> Livonian Order, Mainz, Nassau, Lucha, Spain, Cleves, that, and all these other places. Oh dear! Yeah. That's not great. 
Switzerland also. Wow, if even Switzerland joins a coalition against you, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> so yeah, that coalition map. Uh, well, all that means is that we need to pick our fights a bit more, a bit more smartly from now on. This is just grassland, so we should be able to attack them fairly easily. Unless, of course, wait, what's the maneuver? We have enough maneuver that 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 crossing penalty shouldn't matter, so we can actually win this. Spain's conquering this Apotex. Yeah, it's that's not it's not the greatest that coalition, but I do think we can. Wait, why are we losing this? Yes, Venice. Venice is a jerk. God damn it. We're not going to go to war with anyone for a while here. Can we core anyone else? Yes, we can. Yeah, it's weird that we would have... But I guess we can... support Kiev and Separatists just to take a chunk out of them. Although, if it's just this province, it's not really worth it. I was hoping there'd be... I don't know why there are no Transylvanian... Why I can't support Transylvanian separatists, but... Alright, we got these back. These salads have a strange habit of teleporting around. Is this... Uh, we can handle it. We have enough mans to actually handle them. Austria as well, by the way. Bosnian separatists. Yay, many separatists! Another infidel. Um. We need his skills. Anyway, we finally dealt with that stupid uprising. Um. Reduce my war exhaustion. Oh, that's actually maybe an idea. Yeah, thanks. That's a that was a good idea. Let me see what we really need to manage this stupid overextension as well. Okay, so we have a lot of trouble in Hejaz, Bosnia. I'm gonna park this army uh, over here. Get them to patrol this area a bit in order to reduce their exhaustion a bit. And these will go to Yemen, where we also have a lot of separatists. Actually, come to think of it, what we all should also do is uh, change our focus to... Oh, we st wow, we need to wait eight more years. Great. Alright, well, I think we still have... Uh, yeah, we still have an, our alliance with France, at least. Not that they have come to our aid yet, but hey.
Roxelana. It may surprise you to learn that for many years Ottoman Sultan did not take legal wives in an effort to suppress competition in the harem. But the great Suleiman, who is by the way dead, <laughs> took Huram Sultan, Roxelana, as his legal wife and raised her above all women in the empire. The Sultan takes her advice on dip diplomatic and military actions and even let her act as an official correspondent to Christian monarchs on our borders. She persuaded Suleiman to limit Crimean slave trading into her native Ukraine and support the construction of schools, mosques and hospitals. Uh, hmm. We should probably get a statesman, actually. Wait. Was she a diplomat? Yeah, she is. Uh, she's she's pretty cheap for she's really cheap for level two uh, for level two advisors sure let's get her Suleiman's widow presumably Kazan and Kirkasia and Georgia are going at it that's fine Also, I have to just wait until our manpower recovers. Actually, by the way, let me just uh, lower my army maintenance a bit—not completely, as I did in Ethiopia, because we are having a lot of reliable troubles as well. But just a bit. Well, we we have a military advisor. Oh, I, I guess what you mean, like one of the like this guy, but he's really expensive. It's true that I don't have any manpower, but I don't plan to get into wars for a while. Like I intend to just sit here and 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 make my empire a bit less overextended for a, for a long time. So uh, Venice is fabricating a claim. Wait, fuck! You're right. Oh, this. You, ugh. Didn't realize even that this that these guys were getting so much attrition. Like you'd think that the f supply limits would be higher than 23 in your own lands. Right. Thanks for the tip. That's um, a good one. Let me just check my other armies. This one should be fine, but. Eh. I guess it might be worth just splitting them, a just splitting it anyway, so that we can maintain order in a bit more land. We don't have enough leaders to. I don't think we actually have any trouble here. We should get some some parked in Greece, because we were having trouble there. Uh, this army should be fine. It leaves these guys who should also be fine. Okay. Actually, they won't be. Bleh! What happened there? I don't know why it just kicked. The Sultan becomes Khalifa. Following this spectacularly successful Mamluk campaign, uh, which one? <laughs> Sultan Selim I brought the last of the Abbasid Caliphs to Istanbul as his guest. The title of Caliph was then transferred to the House of Osman. Hence for Ottoman monarchs were also spiritual leaders of all summon. Ooh, I like that. You could especially use the legitimacy, honestly. I'm just gonna separate them as well. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. All those points are really, really useful to us. Let's actually take a look at the religion map of Europe. Uh, Protestantism isn't spelling that much. Oh, we should deal with these guys. Um, same with them. Yeah, many separatists, so let me just check what cities there are. Sanaa. Just Sanaa. I mean, we do have an army here that might reduce their troublesomeness a bit. So 
once we have 60 once we have 46 we can core the final province get our empire a bit under control again mm. nice that's also something we should do more of Um, I do kind of fun. Me, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm from over here. Cabinet cooperation. A humanist politics have reduced jealousy between our advisors. They can no longer play on the religious and ethnic divisions within the country. Everyone is working for a state that they have faith in. There's my trust in a tablet, which is very nice indeed. Uh, I can core my last province then. Mecklenburg has joined us. Well, not joined us, joined against us actually. Uh, the Bays are losing some estate. Should maybe take a look at our estates. Oh wow, not, we have none of the bonuses now. Um, let me uh, get, them, get the nobility some land at least. There's 56. How about these lands? Increase their loyalty a bit. And unfortunately, their influence as well, of course. But although no, these are not actually influ increasing their influence. Okay, so. Um. What the clergy? What well, a dimi? Oh, we can't. Oh wait, no, the dimi. That that's the not the clergy. That's the that's the infidels. Who it doesn't look like we can make happy anyway. So let's not bother. The ulema is the is the clergy. Who we should actually have actually quite a bit of a rift to heal with. Pff, this, these provinces would actually give us almost no loyalty. Let's not bother. Don't want to get uh, extra local autonom autonomy then if we have to do it in that many places. Hmm. Hi, pirates! What you doing here? Can I... Are those pirates not enemies? Oh, they're probably, uh, they're probably uh, privateers. From not one of our enemies. Let's take a look at the technology actually, because we... still haven't reached this. We keep spending our... Uh, I keep spending my points, so... Overextension is still dangerously high. Oh, let's deal with these separatists. nice to just relax a bit and let things uh, happen. Ooh. Nice. Wait, even more? No, we can't. We should uh, send our troops here, considering. Well, sending missionaries into somewhere does in does make the people there angry. Hey, the overextension flag is gone. General Bali is dead. Hmm. At least it solves the problem 
of having too many leaders. Look at their piety, by the way. I've never been this high. I like uh, that there's that you have a l that the Ottomans have so much heat intolerance. By the way, it's a nice little touch. <coughs> yeah, many separatists deal with them, and the same goes for the Hungarians. Also, let's send these guys just into hung Hungary. But we should also just deal with them. Sweden's having internal conflicts. Fuck, you're right, I completely forgot that. Wow! I'm playing like crap today. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, let's see, the light ships are the... the barks. Um, I guess around Constantinople, considering how much we earned there. Although, no, wait. That's why we shouldn't. Should we? Instead, we should send it to one of the others, like... Yeah, here we will get a lot more, actually. So, yeah, to Aleppo. Actually, shouldn't have all of our ships here. Let's just actually separate off the light ships. Kind of ironic when I, that I have to say I was playing a lot better as Ethiopia, you know, considering just how much of a disaster that campaign was. Uh, actually, go here. Merchants spread thin. Yeah, I know. Sure, spend some diplomatic power. Greek separatists. Let me just move some of these men's about. I guess we should maybe actually convert the Shia provinces, considering how much tolerance we have for the uh, for heathens. Oh, hey, look, they're having rebels. Uh, not a non-Muslim. Well, we have enough. We have enough piety. Georgia is so angry, by the way. Uh-oh. Did they ask us to join them? Doesn't look like they did. Uh, we really need to deal with these Croatians. Wait, where are they? There they are. I like this song. I like all the I like all of the metal tracks actually. <coughs> Very nice. Also the fact that this song is about Carl the Twelfth is pretty is just pretty cool. Hi! Okay. Uh. Mm. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, oh, okay, right. Already put that up. Um, so, France, would you like to come to our aid? Uh, wait, can I even? Uh, they're all well. They're they're at least fighting Spain, who I'm pretty sure is in this coalition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, let's also convert some of the Shia provinces. Um, okay, let's first just check just who we're at. W Europe. Okay, we're at war with Europe. That's good. Um, bring all these. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. We probably will not win this. Coalition? Do let me think. Do coalitions actually end after the first war? Because I seem to recall reading that they do, but because if they do, then well, I lose. I give up some provinces, and I can just continue. If they keep in place. And that's not perfect. Um, okay. Let me just think what I can do here. At least the Protestants aren't joining us much. Aren't attacking it much. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's... We'll make... Let's actually see what their demands are then. Just first of all. Like, just suggest an offer. What's your suggestion? Bulgaria, Mor Moria and Crete as sovereign states. Okay. So that's uh, then we'd lose. Bulg then we. I don't. <sighs> okay. I don't think we can do no. Like Bosnia or something would be one thing, but I don't want to take huge chunks out of the middle of my empire. So I'm gonna try suggesting them something else. Um, like let's. Maybe not Albania, actually. Hmm. We'll be having a lot of trouble with Croatia, so... Just trying... Okay, let me just try something. Um... I want this to be actually as integ as integer as possible. Maybe actually we should go the other way. Maybe we, sh we should try releasing some stuff in the south and the east, so that they won't. So that if we retake them, the Europeans won't actually be that upset about it. Wait, what? Oh, I guess they don't. They don't want Saruhan. But um, what is this even? Oh, it's like this bit. Sort by war score first of all. Most of them would be Syria, which yeah we actually don't want to give away. Although if that's the only thing actually, no no we should actually not split up our empire into regions. Um, hey jazz would suck, but hmm. Yeah, that's a pro that's a problem I was thinking of with Croatia as well. Of course, I could give back the Hungarian provinces, but that would make the whole war with Hungary undone. Hmm. Let's try getting some. Yeah, no, not Bulgaria, not Hejaz, not Syria, definitely not. So Karaman. Nope. Eretna. Yeah. Serbia. We'll also take a chunk out of her. Okay, what if I... Yeah, what if I did this and then gave back these provinces? Like, just... Wait. Oh, I can't cede provinces. That's annoying. Hmm. 
Lebanon is... Mm. We should try and get as little war score as possible, of course, but... So Dulkadir or Lebanon. In which case, definitely Lebanon, because that doesn't cut our empire into two. But yeah, then we will have this stupid enclave here. Oh, can I get give back provinces? In which case, I should probably get rid of... Wait, can I... So how do I do that? Because seat provinces button doesn't work. Oh, wait, is it because I'm, talk I'm talking to mains? And if I talk to Hungary, I will get something... I will get... Wait, is this alphabetic? Yeah, it is. Hunger. No, it's not. Okay. Good sign, isn't it, when you have so many enemies you just can't find Hungary. Third chapter. Oh, return course. Oh, I can't do it because that goes over the war score. Right, yes. So, hold on. Let me take, out, take off Lebanon then. Wait, did... Oh, wait, we, we actually can't do that while we're releasing Croatia. Um, hmm. Looks like my cunning plan to cut Hungary in two is really biting me in the butt now, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't so cutting a plan after all. No, no, don't demand tribute. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna do that plan then. Croatia, Bosnia and Lebanon. It's not the best. Um, let's get these guys out of Bosnia then. Generous it was, yes. Okay, so got cut down to size there. Um, let me look at the coalition map. They're still not happy with us, but we should have helped a bit. We should build a fort in here if we are gonna keep, if we are gonna try and keep and keep hold of this. Yeah, I have I have thought of that, but I've been too busy with dealing with the fallout of the la of the last war. Uh, wait, where's there? It is, of course. Yeah, put it in the Bretchen. I do think I have got his belly on them. Yes, I do. For Sinjar, which is this one. Also, actually, Diabakir, which is this one, and Mush. So we could take these lands, yeah. They are coming home. Hmm. They don't seem to have many friends, do they? Actually, they have no friends. Just like the Blork. <laughs> I mean, I think we still... We are still suffering from some overexpand... No, we're not. Oh. Oh. Well, in that case, it's all the more reason to... Hmm. Yeah, it's it's always fun to see, uh, well, to see ahistorical stuff, uh, first of all. At, at least provided it doesn't keep happening every game, you know. Like, the giant Korean Empire is actually sort of annoying to me. 
But other than that, I generally do really enjoy and enjoy when when they start when you know when things ch get turned around a bit. It's always great when you see the when you see the Aztecs on the Incas survive to the end, for example. By the way, welcome to the stream, Ashawa. Uh, ideas. Well, I still got the trade ideas that I had that I had set up, but I sort of want to actually. I'm actually s saving up for technology. Except, well, I keep having to use them on. I keep having to use my points for uh, keeping order and stuff. Ugh. We're taking some damage here from the, uh, from the, what's his name? Yeah, from the thing, the attrition. Not so straight considering this is a desert actually. Let's move them over there. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know the word. I'm just <laughs> I'm just stupid. Uh A hey, technology. Alright. First technology of the game. So we could attack Persia actually pretty without much without much of a penalty. We also just check by the way. Okay, we do have a piece we do we have a treat we have a truce with all of the new states. Well, yeah, it's true that he collect that, but he co he collects extra though. I guess it's not. I guess you're right. It's not that much though. Uh, let's actually let's actually check. If we take him away, then. Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't drop that much. Hmm. All right. Um. Maybe we should steer from the Crimea then. Seems these. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, we need to wait. There we go. There we go. Um. Probably get one more army actually over there. If we are going to fight the Persians, which I think we are. Take a break from Europe. Georgia is doing pretty well, by the way. Uh, this should be fine. Ow. Bad timing. Why are we going so slow, by the way? <coughs> oh, well, we weren't going to fight Genoa either way, I think. I have not attacked Amazon because they have an L. They have not. Yes, why have I <laughs> why have I not attacked them actually? Uh, you are correct. You are absolutely correct. Wow, I'm sucking out loud today. Alright. Let me actually um put a general here. Why did we even assign our other general, our ruler? 
I think he's over. Wait, is he? He lives in. He lives in Hungary now. Um. Basically, the reason I haven't attacked him yet was because I've been too busy and because I've been overlooking it. We should win this despite the rivers. There we go. Why is he the third has fallen ill and cannot handle all the aspect of ruling? The Ottomans, um... Hmm... Let me actually take a quick look at our, uh, at our estates. Uh, we could actually use the base. Sure, let's get the base. Oh look, they're attacking us! <laughs> That's cute. Well, I will I will get them eventually. It's not right now. Right now I think I'm gonna uh, take my course. Take them. Right, I can only set one war goal, of course. So we're gonna get the Gazikumush, which I think is small. Right, yeah, it's just this. Yeah, that's just their ally. That's just their vessel. Okay, fine. Gonna, we're gonna go take the per take our per take the per take uh, take uh, these core provinces from Persia. We should, however, set some generals. Um, sure. Oh, bleh. It's fine. So actually, some pretty nice generals as well. When we start firing them, we will actually have a good choice for which one we want to fire. Yeah, that's what I thought. They don't have any any forts over here. I guess eventually we will just move to their capital. Yeah, it's a good it's a good idea. Let me see. They would actually do it. They would also transfer some trade power to us. Is that actually... Nice. Actually, they do kind of like us. Oh, right. If we vassalize them, however, we will... Um, if we vassalize them, we will, however, get even more trouble with too many diplomatic relations. Oh, wow. That was fast. I guess we're just gonna take some provinces of them. Let's try and keep our troops a bit... C oh, hi! Uh, considering these guys are also coming... Uh, we should also have the help of the... of the, of the Romanians soon, though. Uh, oh, Jesus, please help. Well, fuck you too. They were just like, uh, nope, nope, no, 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 nope. We're not getting in, no doubt. So our armies got slaughtered. Perfect. Didn't even take that much war score for some reason. Let me, um. So I've got to be careful of this. Clearly. Uh, they're going to retreat a bit. 
Patriarchate. Oh, the Christian Patriarch. Well, if we do this, then we will gain more manpower, we'll lose some piety, and all our uh, and all the Orthodox nations are gonna like us. If we don't, we gain money, we gain piety, we gain. Sure, let's do this one. Yeah, I know that. Two to one. Is it not on? It's on one of our armies. Does one of our armies not have that? Oh wow, this army is super heavy on cavalry, actually. That's not good. Let's also take these guys. Here, let's let them, let's have them stop over here. Considering then we can, yeah, let's just do a little reshuffling in Constantinople. As the maneuver of this general, a little high, so. We are gonna deal with them, by the way. Eventually. Yeah, that's true. This one could use some more. Ooh, look at the Crimea fighting for us. Okay, yeah, let's do some reshuffling. Um, which one had too much? This one has too much. Let me kick some cavalry out. Uh, we will add some infantry to this army, so we don't need to to kick as many of them out as you might think. Um, hold on. And then we also have... Um, Yeah, this army can afford to lose, say, two infantry regiments. Okay, now we need to, um, hold on. Yeah, this cavalry army is going to sit here. And so is the one that is, one of the ones that is low on cavalry, namely, I guess this one is sort of low on cavalry. We're a little high on cavalry in general, actually. And then the one that's these guys. Then our last. We're just gonna send them back to the front, I think. Huh? Military exit from Georgia. Who are you fighting? Lord Bur oh, yeah, sure. Great. I don't realize they were also having a battle with Persia. But it's still pretty early. The, art the artillery is not that cost effective yet. Just gonna pick off some of these, some of their small armies, I think, here. Yee. Alright, we can end this war now. Give that. And we will, um,. I guess we should send them here to take this back. Where are you going? Okay, but actually let's be careful of this army here. I'll send them here. Alright, got them back. Uh, is that... Do we need to core that? We probably do. Oh wait, is that cored? Nice. Merge. Um, you know what? Actually, let's just uh, go one, two, three, and of course that's going to be parked for a while, isn't it? Wait, where does? I do. Oh, it actually comes from the neighboring provinces. That's kind of nice. Uh, they're still... They're also rather high on cavalry. Wait, what about this army? How's this one? 
This one is low on cavalry, so we are actually just gonna separate them, I think. That's better. And send that into here. Try and st try and keep them away from the enemy stacks, of course, because well, they're just cavalry on their own. Right, I was picking off some of these, some of these little guys. Then I want to go and take them. This is me, by the way. Mush has come under occupation of Persia. Uh, let's go from here. I think. What's the maneuver? This general has a lot of maneuver, so he can probably attack. Wow, five maneuver. Nope, neither of us can attack without getting. Without getting the river penalty. Well, then I guess we will just have to go anyway. Do with them. Yeah, this is not enough maneuver either, so. Just attack them from all sides. Hi, you should stay here. Nice. Um, bu -bu -bu. They should merge into one. Then them. Just gonna send them to conquer these provinces. Right, why are they just standing around here? Good. How about I just divvy them up and have them reinforce the other armies? Uh, actually... Yeah, do go get Mosul, it's only barely under the supply limit. Noise. Get that van! Let me drive my van into your heart! <laughs> I don't actually know much of how that song goes. Uh, it looks like they are gonna get a reinforcement, so that should be fine. Nice! Uh, well, they are already going to take Megarthia, so... I'm gonna take a bit of a risk and send my men's... But, ooh, supply limits are really bad there. Oh, ooh, Baghdad! Actually, let's go get Baghdad. Okay, let's be very careful of that. Let's actually not move away then. I don't trust these fuckers. Okay. Yeah, they're sort of wandering up and down. Going to Tabriz now. Another infidel. How is my piety is actually getting sort of low now, so I think I'm actually going to dismiss this guy, unfortunately. Um, would they have? They would not have to cross a river here, would they? Wait, I can check that in. Um, Simple terrain, which I really should actually set to the set to one of these. No, they would not need to cross. So I'm actually going to go to Yerevan. So that if they want to attack, I'm in the mountains and past and behind the river. Right. 
Really? What are the upside as negative piety? I'm gonna move them here to provide backup to these guys, cause... Wait. Oh fuck, they're cutting us off. Oh, you pieces of shit. They don't need to cross a river for that, so that's annoying. Well, I don't think I can. Oh, lack of piety. More national tax, more national manpower, less technology cost. Oh. Huh. Need is that not? I thought that I thought it was. I thought it was uh, negative. Interesting. Very interesting. Um. Wait, what are you just standing around for? Go help out or something. This is at least a mountain, so we should be able to deal a bit of to take out quite a lot of these guys. Hi, Jay Dana. Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks. That that's interesting. So it's more like the like the um what's his name like uh, chivalry and dread in medieval total in medieval two total war. The reins are too loose. Um. Fine, just let them rant. Is this battle going? I think we can we're gonna win it, but only barely. Nice. We won the van. For your military successes, you win a brand new van. Let's actually try and see if we can take the if we can take some cores of of them now. What would they suggest? Uh, we have several. So this is also a core of ours, at least, and I think Cesare as well. So. Yeah, let's not bother then. Right, I was gonna split these guys up for some to uh, assist the uh, assist these armies here. Um, they could use. How about? That, and then. Yeah, just do it like this. Because we don't have enough leaders to support another army, unfortunately. Oh, they have another army over here. Well, we are taking their capital, so... It's not great for them. Um, let's just take the north of their provinces. Okay, are you gonna try and conquer stuff? So this general has quite a lot of maneuvers. So maybe we should. Yeah, let's just pick off these guys quickly. Charizard. The danger, of course, about going to Charizard is that these dudes might join in. They actually have five maneuvers, so maybe we sh maybe we shouldn't fight them. Not not with just these men, at least. Can I ever pick this little army uh, over here off? Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> and yeah, I guess take this. 
Hey, hot pussy, welcome to the stream. It is the Ultimate Empire. It's the first time I've played an actual, an actually successful country. Astrakhan's fighting Georgia, so we might not get much help from them anymore. Uh, where are you going? What's this? This is, uh, it's mountains. I thought it might be planes for a moment, in which case attacking them from two sides would actually be pretty decent. Okay, we got Adalan back. Um, no, this is farmlands. We should not be in there while there's such a big army next to us. Yep. If this wasn't mountains, we would just take the stupid Persians, but this is also mountains, so that doesn't help us either. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna send them in sort of an around maneuver towards here to eventually deal with this army. It's like, I'm sort of worried about these guys. There's quite a lot of them. I embarrass the court. Wow. Lost the whole stability from it. Do I have enough to boost it back up? Yeah, I do. Norway's having some trouble. Where are you going? They're, they appear to be sort of in the same dilemma as I am. Well, like, do we attack? Do we not? Uh, uh oh. Fuck. And they have five maneuvers, so I can forget getting away. At least this is mountain, so at least we, we do have that on our side. These guys are are almost definitely still gonna die, but they will we'll probably inflict some serious losses on them. What are they just doing sitting around? Also, finally got Tabriz, so... Uh, attacking into mountains, but... It is less man. Also, they don't have any infantry. Oh, there. Looks like the Romanians are actually coming to help. Yeah, we still lost. We won over here, though. Um, can we intercept? Oh, the Romanians are fighting them now. Well, we join in. Chop their army into pieces. Where are you going? Uh, all the way back to Sam. Nice. Dealt with their big army. Okay, I'm actually gonna see what they would... Wait, first I wanna check what my cores are again. Um, I think it's diplomatic, right? Yeah, this is, we have a claim on these. And we have cores on these. So we definitely want those four provinces at least. But I think we want we will try and take more... As we will take, try and take some more of Iraq. Which is of course something that Suleiman historically did as well. Suleiman in history of course was still alive in 1534. Because he did not die in a weird thing. In um, well, you say 68. What do we get? Oh, there's also some cores over here being granted away. I'm um, actually gonna tell them 
Yeah, do we want them to give up? To, gi to give these guys up? I don't even know if, you, if we do. Uh, it's not here. Yeah, like that would... I don't know if that's so good, because that's just... Like, what's gonna... But the most likely thing that's gonna happen if this goes free is just Georgia is gonna take it. Because Georgia has been hyper-aggressive this whole game. So I don't think we want that. Um, what I will instead do is I will see if I can get just a few more provinces. Yeah. This seems to be what we can get here. I like that better. Can we get more? Oh, we can get more money. Here we go. That'll uh, smooth out trouble we had in the west a bit. Send our man back. Wait, didn't I have a third army? Oh right, they got they got routed. Uh, gonna send them back to Constantinople, I think. All right. Empire is looking a bit better. Oh look, we got uh, Badiat Asham, the wasteland over here. Little bonus. So historically, I know that Suleiman got like the whole, I think the whole of Iraq. Of course, Suleiman died in our in our uh, timeline, so that sucks. Ooh, what's happening to Bosnia? Venice. Hmm. Wait, what if we? If we offer them an alliance now, then we will be called into their wars, right? Which we actually... I actually think we might want that. Because what we don't want... Like, Bosnia... Like, the free Bosnia is not perf is certainly not a perfect situation, but we don't want Venice taking that. Excuse me. So I think what I'm gonna do is just offer them an alliance. Come to their aid. And kill, well, Montenegro and Venice. We know we can handle both of those. Of course, this will give us an extra... Ex yeah, this will actually give us extra... Um, if we proclaim guarantee now, do we get called into their war? I don't think we do. I think it's only into new wars. Also, that, also, that just takes a place... That just costs us another um, diplomatic slot anyway. So, wait. No, they don't. They're independent. They only got recently carved out of our empire, so... Also core these guys. Venice, of Venice does have an ally in Poland. Considering they're not involved in the war. Also, I think we can handle Poland. If it's on its own. All right. Yes. Okay, so now I come to their aid. Go on. Ask me for help. Why are you not asking me for help? Well, that's perfect. Oh yeah, they do actually. That's that's a good point, yeah. Anyway, I guess that takes care of the alliance with Bosnia. That was a waste of diplomatic points. So we, we we should do something about Venice, I think. Um, we also, of course, want to take 
Croatia back actually. We don't have a Casus Belly on them, however. I guess we could ma we could uh, fabricate a claim on Slavonia. Just try and get that back. That's alright, 26. Thanks for dropping by. Good night. They're still having trouble with rebels. Being cut into two was not nice for them either. Let me just check these. And nothing too high. Cores are being created. Missionary is already busy. Oh wait, we still have not a truce with them. Oh. <sighs> Never mind the claim then. Wow, that that's a long truce. Yeah, not not much well, we're not gonna break a truce for this. That's not worth it. It's not worth that. Um so yeah, alliance with Poland. They have a mission to retake Crete, so we probably will hear from them soon anyway. We probably don't even need to go to war with them. I wonder though, if we did, we would not have a Casus Belli. Alright. How, then how about uh, we fabricate a claim on Bosnia? Although, do we have a truce? Yeah, we do, for five more years, so even if they get the claim, they're not gonna attack us for a while anyway. I think we should be at peace for a bit. Actually, how about Lebanon? Also at truce, of course, yes. Forgot about that. Memlux. Memlux. Why do we have a... Yeah, I know we should get claims, but it's if, we're, if we have a truce for a million more years, it's not much worth it. I don't think anyone would regret me... would miss the Memlux if I... If I wipe them off the face of the earth. So that's just what I'm gonna do. I have not paid any attention to Egypt yet. Actually, I think just these guys can handle it. I think we actually we actually already have course on them. Yeah, Wahat. So we just do that and we also and we also take us to us, it's a ways. Oh, but Hasa here, right? Yemen and Funchra allies. Okay, friends. Bad horse. It's not going to take long with... Oh, this guy doesn't have much siege. It was one of our other generals. Doesn't matter, it's just a level 1 fort. Venice and Croatia are going at war now. I 
I mean, the advantage of all of these getting getting amalgamated into Venice is that I can then just take on Venice. Oh, hi. Did not notice you there. Look at the Wallachia. They're, they're really loyal subjects. They keep getting into my wars. <laughs> keep doing stuff for me. Oh, nice. We got a claim on Persia again. On, uh, which is it? Oh, it's this one. Alright. Wait, Sina? Oh, Quena. <laughs> I was just thinking. Alright, we occupy their land, so they will probably agree to just give them to me. Wait, they wouldn't? Okay, then I will take this back. Enderun Academy was established by Mehmet II in Constantinople. Provozing Pro Dutch masters often kidnapped ch 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 Christian children from the Balkans, and sons of prominent Ottoman officials were trained in literature, theology, engineering, mathematics, etc. at Enderun, preparing them for government service as civil servants and janissaries. The janissaries became r rivals to the land of Timariot Sipai soldiers that made up the bulk of the Ottoman army, and tensions were inevitable between the two classes. More for more discipline, or if I expand, if I expand the system instead, I get more better cavalry. Uh, I'll have the discipline for a little bit of money. Okay, now friends. Yeah, now they would actually agree to it. How much Fezan? Fezan. Okay. Um. Wait, we actually have a core there? <laughs> nice! Then we're probably gonna go get them next. Look at this ghost offer, by the way. I've been so busy with Europe, I have I've completely neglected the south and the east. So we have some stuff to mop up here. Oldenburg has recovered from that religious turmoil. No, still don't want it. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself but not the enemy, for every victory gained, you will also suffer a defeat. Oh wait, this is for Tripoli. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, I mean, you will succumb. I guess it made make them less useless. Sort of a waste of an ally currently. Sure. I thought it was ours, but it's fine. Which peninsula? You want Iberia? Uh, I don't know if Portugal and Spain are allies, actually. I would hope so for Portugal, but... Let me just see. Allies, Bavaria, Palatinate, Navarra, and yeah, Portugal. Oh, right, that, yeah, of course, they have colonies here, yeah. Yeah, they are allied to Spain. So that would be a bit of a pain. Spain is not a particularly weak country. But I will consider it. 
Let's put Montenegro. Right, we have a truce. Hey, look at Algier actually helping out. Nice. Just gotta take the capital. <coughs> oh, fuck. What's going on? She has edits. It's probably because of the conversions we've been doing of them. That they've been getting uppity. Let me take another look at the European religious situation. It's really not sp spraying that much to Protestantism. Like I've seen games where it just like took everything in Europe except Italy and Spain in like within a couple of years. It was crazy. I've recently been doing, by the way, a great Observer game, a, a, an Observer mega campaign. Not actually playing it, of course, but like. Basically, while I was watching or something, just on my second screen, having the games run in Observer mode, and just every now and then looking over and seeing what crazy shit is happening. So I started in 1207 in Crusader Kings, and then when it reached the end of that game, I converted to EU, and then when it reached the end of this game, I converted to Victoria. So now it, the game is in 1867, I think, and several massive empires have taken over the world. It's pretty entertaining, actually. Uh. Boop. Uh. Yeah, serpents should actually become a. Um. Yeah, it should go to where? Wait, where is it? To Tripoli. Well, not to me. To Tripoli. Oh right, give core is how you do that. Oh fuck, but then we can't take Jufra and Fedan. Hmm. And we still do take an aggressive expansion penalty over it. All being considered, might then not just take it over entirely. Maybe better, yeah. There we go. Hence, to fight and conquer in all your battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Fulhinian separatists. You know what? I think that's actually a good point to end for today. We've uh, expanded the empire. Not in the way I would have liked in the Balkans, but we'll uh, deal with Venice next time. So yeah, if you enjoyed the stream, consider following the channel, consider because that's a good way to... Oh, Sigma, you're just too late. And we're actually fighting in the name of me, <laughs> not Allah, really. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed the stream, consider following the channel, and thanks for watching. See you next time.